Hi everyone. Okay, today I've got somebody who still loves you. They still care about you. Okay, but there's a really stubborn energy here. They're suffering without you. Okay, but this connection is blocked for some reason. It's almost like there's some immovable object that's stopping even contact, let alone a reconciliation. They are finding it tough. Your person's finding it tough at the moment. But they're still very stubborn. Okay? But deep down, they miss you. Alright, that's the central energy. I'm going to go into that a little bit deeper and see what's going on here. See, I'm going to try to find out what this blockage is, actually. And also while why they are suffering... You know, why they're suffering without you, what the blockage is, why won't they do anything about it? Just while I'm shuffling though, if you'd like personal reading even, I can't speak today again. If you just click on the title of this video, it's all in the description box. Okay, and the free relationship report as well. Okay, I'm just going to see what they'd like to say. Because it's def I've definitely got no contact here. No contact. I haven't given up hope on us. Yeah, I think they're just sitting wherever they are, missing you dreadfully, grieving for your connection, suffering with something, but they're absolutely doing nothing about it. Okay, I think they're lonely and isolated where they are. They could be at a distance from you. Personality type, okay, just narrow it down because it's general reading. This could be someone who is actually quite stubborn. Okay, they could also tend to at times play the victim a bit, or they could take on other people's issues and problems that they don't need to be taking on. This person could have taken on their family's issues and problems that they don't need to be doing because there is an element here of they're trying to keep the status quo for some reason. Okay, they're trying to keep the status quo wherever they are. There could be some form of some tradition, whether it's religious or, or just a tradition that they don't want to break. So they're suffering in silence, but they're not talking to you either. But they're hoping that you haven't given up on them. Right, okay. They know they're letting their pride get in the way of your connection. I do, like I say, in the past, I think this person could be quite cold at times. Okay, when they decided something, the shutters go down. Okay, the shutters go down and you find it really difficult to reach this person. Almost as if, Almost as if they give you some sort of silent treatment. They're not happy. They're definitely suffering in silence, but they're still resistant to making any change. They'd like to tell you that you're a better person than them. Okay? You're a better person than them. Right, let me just see what... I'm going to go really deep now and just see if I can see what this blockage is. Let me just see what the blockage is. Let's have some cards on that, please. Friends and family could be the blockage here. Too many cooks are spoiling the broth. Okay, or... This is specific. If they've got any bad habits, they're finding it difficult to give them up. Okay. For example, if they, you know, any addictions, they're finding these addictions difficult to give up. And in some ways, their suffering is their own doing. Because you can't lead a, you can lead a horse to water, I'm going to say to you, but you can't make this horse drink today. You can't make this horse drink. Why 
Wow. So in the middle I've got the Norman card, the heart had come out, okay, which is clarified by the lover's card. This person still loves you very much. But they're not going to, I just don't feel they're talking about it because they're not willing to make some sacrifices elsewhere. So they're just suffering in silence. I think the, they haven't got the strength to give something up. Whether it be friendships, addictions, but they haven't got that strength to give something up. They know they've got a choice to make. Okay, between you and what they've got to give up. But they're finding this difficult. They have got a resistance to, to leaving something behind. And I'm not even getting this particularly a person or a situation, just something. It could be leaving behind a particular behavioural trait of theirs. They love you though. They do love you. They do love you. They are very not happy. Okay, that's clarifying the cross here. The cross is, you know, the one where they're burdened and stuff. They're not happy where they are. Okay, they could be even, they might not be very well. And by that I mean they could just be a little bit depressed or they've cut themselves off. They're suffering in silence. Now, Interestingly enough, you know, they could be someone, like I said earlier, with this card clarifying it, it really doubles it up, that they could just be playing the victim a bit, okay? They could just be playing the victim a little bit here, and they don't want to, um, they don't almost want to put the effort in to make a move. Well, this is a this is a really strange energy. Now these have come out, you know, with saying that they feel that you're a better person than them. They've got very low self-esteem. They want you, they miss you, but it's almost like they don't have the strength to make a change. Okay, they don't have the strength to make a change. They could have been offered help in the past with whatever this problem is, but they weren't interested in it. Okay? They weren't interested. For some, very, very definitely getting there was a problem with alcohol. I think somebody's tried to stop with something before okay because we've gone from the three of cups to the four of cups and that card's there as well let's see what else we can get to the feelings please to the feelings feelings please yeah they'd like to come back they would like to come back, but in the past, this person was really, oh, flighty. You know, they were just reckless. They were immature. They didn't think before they acted. They seriously didn't think before they acted with friends and going out and all of that kind of stuff. You know, that sort of energy. I said it before, you know, you've got your plans made and bush, they either let you down, they don't turn up, or they just disappear. Or they're just not reliable. Okay, but they would like to come back in. Let's see what else we can get for feelings. Yeah, gosh. They've realised that they need to come in with more maturity. Okay, they have a lot of passion for you. I'm specifically getting today, I've got the water signs. Okay specifically Cancer, all right, I've got Gemini, and I've got Leo. Okay, this person knows that they've got to come in, they've got to level up, they've got to 
you know that saying, you've got to man up. You, you've just got, they've got to raise their game. All right. To be with you, they've got to raise their game. They definitely have a personality of somebody. <laughs> yeah, somebody who, who is egotistical, but they're also emotionally needy. Going back to the silent treatment I picked up on earlier, that's even more clarified now with this. They can be really emotionally immature. Okay, not just emotionally immature on a in and out, reckless party animal, but they just play the victim. They sulk. Okay, they sulk. And they have a very high opinion of themselves, but the moment somebody pops their bubble, then they sulk. All right, I feel they'd like to come forward though, the Page of Cups. I feel they'd like to come forward, but as those of you who watch my readings, because it's in the line of what I've got on here with my Lenormand cross card, and the four of four of cups. I just feel like they're just being still emotionally immature. It's almost like the, okay, you'll know if this is your reading today. Like I sometimes say, it's probably for two people today. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter what you offer them. They they're still sulking. So you could say, let's do this. No. Well, okay, how about this? No. They're very emotionally sulky. But then this causes you problems because you're always trying to second guess what they're sulking about. Okay, this is a really difficult energy for you to deal with if this is your person because they do miss you. Okay, and they do care about you, but I think they are quite emotionally avoidant. They are quite egotistical. And I think they do use the, it's almost like they weaponize the silent treatment. I, I honestly think that this person, okay, from quite a young age realized it, within the family dynamic they had, that if they, if they use the silent treatment or they sulked, they'd get their own way. It was a learning, it was a coping mechanism. It was how they, it was how they got what they wanted within their family dynamics. But they've carried that through to adulthood, okay? But it's not that they don't love you. They do love you and they do miss you. But, I, I feel they like the attention that they get when they're sulking. Because somewhere in this person's history way back, when they sulked, somebody was fussing over them. Okay, someone was fussing over them when they sulked. And they've carried this through into adulthood. Oh, dear me. Okay, let's see, um, let's just see what's going on in their environment. You know, some people will just play the victim, you know, because they like it. You know, things can fire off dopamine things in our brain, like sometimes, you know, eating loads of cakes gives me a dopamine rush or, or whatever, but I think this person or maybe gets off on, might, might be a UK saying it means just gets a hit from sitting in their own self-pity. But this isn't to say they don't love you, because I feel they do love you, but they do wallow a bit. Okay, they do, they do wallow a little bit. Right, I'm going into the environment. Let's 
see these blockages. Again, they want to talk to you. Okay, they, they want to send you a message. They're thinking of you, and I think you know this person's thinking of you. I think you can feel it. Right. This person is trying to free themselves from a toxic situation or an addiction of some sort, which is what I was getting earlier on. They are trying. But it's almost like they get more sympathy when they're not healed. I hope this reading is making sense. They get in more sympathy when they've got their problems. So as much as they want to get rid of their problems, to come back into union with you, they're frightened they won't get as much sympathy. Okay, they need to heal this. They need to talk to someone about opening up in a healthy and adult way. Okay? Someone's like someone, I, I think in their environment, someone's protecting them and or, or enabling them, okay? There is some truth that needs to come out here. I, I think your person needs to hear the truth. There could be a situation here for some of you where you told this person the truth, but again, you got the horse to go to the water, but the horse wasn't drinking it. And instead of drinking the water, they decided just to sit in victim mode. Because that felt normal. I think that this person's been doing it for so long, the way they react, that it feels normal. But the saddest thing is, and this is sad today, the saddest thing is, because this King of Wands is their energy, this person and this central energy of how they're feeling at the, at the moment they miss you like crazy. They miss you like crazy. Let's see what else. I'll get my moon cards out. Let me see what else we can get out on this. They know they need to. They know they need to buckle up. Okay. They know what they need to do, and that's what's really sad. They know they need to be this King of Wands. Doesn't matter if it's female or male energy. They need to be this person that's in control of their life, that's nailed down, that's responsible, that's adult, okay? And they need to make choices to do that. But in the future, I've still got them sat in this Four of Cups energy, carrying all their burdens and all their woes and just thinking about bringing an offer in. Right, let's see what else we can get out of this. Right, that's interesting because the truth card came out. The answers that you need are coming. There's a new romantic cycle coming in for you. I'm going to clarify these. Right. Yeah. I think this person will come back in, okay? You're going to get some answers, right? Even if it's just the answers you need to know that they haven't changed one iota. But I feel that they there's a new romantic cycle coming in. But you're being asked to contemplate this. Take your time. Don't rush. Which I think I got yesterday. Right, the answers that you need, you're going to get some information regarding finances that somebody's not doing too well financially or that somebody's health, whether, it, whether it's just their mental health or they're a bit low, that's all I'm getting, but you are going to get some answers or some information about this person, okay? There is something they want to leave behind to come back to you, but they're finding it hard. 
they're finding it hard. They want to close the door on something, but the information you're going to get has got something to do with money or health. Let's see what's, I'm going to get two more. What's the new romantic cycle about, please? All right, let's clarify that. Okay, you've got the new romantic cycle. I've actually got somebody new coming in as well. Gosh, this is a, I have to keep going. There's a lot of energy swirling around in this reading today. You've actually got an earth sign that's going to come in. Or somebody with a lot of earth in their chart, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This person is actually going to be really well off financially. You know, by well off financially, I don't always mean, you know, like completely millionaires. But they're going to have their own home. They're going to pay the bills, that kind of stuff. Okay. They're going to want to come in and offer you some comfort and some stability. Right. So that is actually, you've got your past energy here, your past person, who I'm going to get to an outcome on. But then you've also got this new person who is actually looking so much different from this past energy. Maybe not quite as exciting because I think the past person, when they weren't sulking, was actually quite an exciting person. But this new person will make you feel very safe and secure. Okay. Yeah, I think you're going to, Spirit's asking you to consider this new person's energy, okay, because they want to come in, the new person wants to come in with this Ace of Pentacles. I said it wasn't going to be quite as, a, Pentacles aren't like, I'm getting a lot of fire energy for the past, okay, could have been quite up and down, in and out, but you knew you were alive with this past person, not always in a good way. Whereas this energy is very level. Okay. So I think Spirit's asking you to consider this when it comes in. Because this person wants to come in and offer you stability, security, finances. I mean, the whole caboodle here. Okay. They want to give you the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. That is the new romantic cycle. So you are being asked to consider that. Um, you know, take your time. But it, it, it is it is a very stable person that's going to come into your life. Very, very stable. Like I said, not, not like this, this energy here. But what I want to do now is just see what's happening with the past as well. So we can clear that up. Right, okay. They're still very attracted to you, you past person. All right, they wish they'd made more effort. I think they're going to come in and say, look, can we talk about this? Can we talk about it? See what the best possible outcome is with the past person, please. Best possible outcome, past person. Yeah, they're going to come back in judgment. Okay. There's going to be an opportunity while you've got two things. You've got this earth sign who is a person. They're stable, secure, level, grounded. Could have their own business. If not, they've achieved something in their life. Okay, they've achieved something, whether they own the management in their career or if they're retired, they've got a good pension, they've provided for their later years. All right. But with your past person, there's going to be an opportunity to have a discussion about your past relationship, whether to carry on, which I think your person would like very much, or whether to just call it a day, whether just to 
forgive, forget, move on, or or not forgive, or not forget, or you maybe don't want to speak to them, but they do want, they will come in and they will want to speak to you. Yeah. Yeah, they're coming back. Not at once. That's the second time that's come back out. Yeah, they're coming back, they're coming back in. Okay, they miss the connection with you. For some of you, they have been watching you. So yeah, this past person's coming back in, but I will say, before I go, they still have that <laughs> silent sulkiness, almost a little bit woe is me, pity party energy around them, okay? But they do love you. And then you've got this new person as well, whose spirit is asking you to contemplate this, you know, try and enjoy the moment. Even though it's going to be a risk, think about it, you know. The feelings with this new person are real and they're worth exploring. So thanks so much for watching. If anybody actually understood that reading, it will be the miracle of the day. I'm sending you all my love. Um, and if, you know, this was your past person, it's your past person, you know, the silent treatment and sulkiness is... Um, it takes its toll on you, so do what's best for you. Know your own worth. You, you're amazing. You're worth the best. Okay, it's hard going from day to day if somebody's sitting in the corner sulking or they use that to ruin every family occasion you ever go to. You know, it, they love you, but they are a little bit pity party. So speak to you soon. Take care and have a good day wherever you are. Bye.